Hey viewers, this is group 18. We finally got into one of my favorite engines and one of my very oldest, the Rock Island. It's built like a tank on the inside. And then we got a uh, CN5506. And a new engine since I first started taking the videos of my trains. A Canadian Pacific and another 1412 CP rail and a, another number 4 PTC street uh, trawler as you call them or carriage I guess this will be a good lineup for uh, the lap times I have no idea which one will be the fastest alright up first is the 286 Rock Island I just love how these old-fashioned ones start up. They start and stop like a real engine should, gradually. In the 20 year, 20 plus years I've had this engine, I've never once had an electrical issue with it. You know, not starting or a bad connection with the track. It's never happened. See, that's quality there. Alright, here's the CN5506. Here we got the Canadian Pacific 4105. This is another one of those quality built ones. It's the flywheels. And it's just it's just well built. It's built kind of like the Rock Island was. So nice quality on it. Smooth running. And here's another 1412 CP rail. I get a lot of these. And they all run pretty much the same. And the number four PTC uh, trolley car. Right here we got the CP rail. And this one's pretty quick. Twelve point five six. That's really good. Right, this is a PTC Charlie car. Fourteen point seven five, pretty good. All right, it's CN engine. That was pretty quick. That'll give the CP rail one a run for its money. Eleven point eight two. It it took its money and ran away. <laughs> and here we got the newly acquired Canadian Pacific forty one oh five. Not particularly fast. Twelve point 
21.39, that's quite slow. And last up is the good old Rock Island. Fourteen point five six. That's not good for a twenty-five year old engine. Well that'll do it for uh group eighteen. So uh stay tuned for group nineteen and uh thanks for watching everyone.